This is the Learning Ally student portal video. We will be covering how to download and listen to your audiobooks through Learning Ally. Once you've logged in using the username and password, you will be brought to this home screen. You have three buttons up top, My Home, Browse Audiobooks, and My Bookshelf. From the My Home, there are different resources that you can access. You can also search for an audiobook right here. By clicking Browse Audiobooks, you can then search for audiobooks that way as well. For this video, we're going to click on My Bookshelf. Once you've clicked on My Bookshelf, you will see all of the books that you have either added or Student Accessibility Services has added as well. Now, to read these books, you are going to scroll over to the left and click Continue where it says, I'm ready to listen to my audiobooks. You're going to scroll down and click Choose a Device. For this video, we're covering the Google Chrome web extension for you to listen to your audiobooks. So we're going to click Mac, PC, or Chromebook. Next, we're going to click Chrome Web Store. This will open up a new link to the Chrome Web Store. From there, you can click Add to Chrome. Click Add App. And once it is loaded, it will now be a web extension in your Google Chrome. You can now click Learning Ally Link and Launch App. When you click Launch App, a separate window will pop up. From here, you enter the same username and password that you did when you first logged into the portal. Once you've entered your login information, your bookshelf will appear. You can now click on the book that you wish to hear and it will begin to download. You can also add other books to your bookshelf through this portal as well. When it is done downloading, you can click play. Once you click on it, the book will begin reading right away. From here, you can click play and continue listening to your book. Or, if you wish to jump around and navigate through the book, you can click this up arrow, and up will appear different settings. On the left hand side, if you click the 1, 2, 3, an index will appear of all of the different chapters and sections that you can skip to. It also gives the page number at the bottom. The page to the right of the numbers allows you to search through just page numbers. And the bookmark to the right is the bookmark section. This, you can then bookmark individual pages and they will then be saved here for you to go back to. With some books, you can change the font, size, color, and even spacing. By clicking on the headphones, you can then change the volume of the book and the speed of which it's read. If there's images in the book, you can then have the audio player describe the images as well. When you're done reading your book, you can click the back arrow. This will then bring you to the home page of the bookshelf. Since you've added this extension to your Google Chrome, the next time you want to play a book through the home page, you can just click on it and this window will appear. That concludes the video on how to listen to Learning Ally audiobooks through Google Chrome extension. If you have any questions, please contact the University of Northern Iowa's Student Accessibility Services.